Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Atlas 2502 REF. This is an awesome floor plan. If you're looking for a fifth wheel that's lightweight, a little bit shorter, this is a perfect option. It comes in at right around 7,800 pounds as it is optioned. And with that, you get the big super slide and one of my favorite parts, solid surface countertops. Speaking of, we can take a look right over here. You'll see the L-shaped kitchen with those gorgeous solid surface countertops there. Because it is solid surface, that allows us to undermount the sink, which gives a much cleaner look and allows for the flush sink top covers on here. You can see that big double bowl stainless steel there, very modern cut to the sink as well. And you have the kind of the modern industrial style faucet right here too. Now, if you wanna use the underside as a cutting board, you certainly can, but again, I would only use the one side. That way one side stays looking nice. Over in the corner right here, you have the pop-up power tower. So you'll see your two standard outlets as well as a couple USB ports. If you don't wanna use it, there's this little red tab right here, and then it pops down just like so when you're ready click it up, pull it right back up like that. Very simple and easy to use. And again, it helps give that clean look to your countertop. You have the lit backsplash back there, which is nice. You will also see the three burner cooktop with the glass cover so that you, uh, you can utilize that as prep space. When you lift that up, that'll give you access to those three burners and you have the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Uh, right over down here to the side, Two large drawers, so if you have some, uh, you know, flatware and things you'll, you'll need to put in here, uh, it's definitely in the top drawer. The bottom one is a little bit bigger. There we go. <laughs> Brand new, right? A little bit tougher to pull out. But uh, the bottom one here, as you can see, if you have some bigger items, like a lot of times I take a, what's called an immersion blender, a hand blender. It's kind of a bulky item. You can put that in there. I have a big uh, applicor I like to take for the kiddos. Again, it gives you a good spot to fit it. You also see some additional storage somewhere right up there. There it is. Uh, so some more storage right up there. Um, in, the, in the front right here, you will see your propane leak detector. Hopefully that never goes off, of course. Then underneath is your fuse panel as well as your breaker box. Right up top here, some additional storage. Just kind of open it up to give you an idea of what you're working with. A little bit above the microwave, you have the stainless steel microwave and then the hood there with both a light and a fan. Over to the sides, medic fridge freezer combo again, stainless looking panels on this one. Plenty of space in here. This does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. The entertainment system is right there in the corner. Uh, the TV is on a swing arm mount so that way you can kind of adjust it whether you're sitting in the dinette or the theater seats. I'll show you both of those in a little bit here. Large storage up top, it is angled back. Additional storage right over here. Open that one up for you so you can see the space there as well. Window in the back, additional storage underneath. Multimedia center right here, that is a DVD player. It is hooked up to the TV. Jensen Electronics for both the TV as well as the multimedia center here. Speakers off to the side and this unit is Bluetooth capable. You also have some additional storage right underneath there and an electrical outlet here. So if you have some auxiliary equipment, you have room to put it there. If you need to plug it in, you can do so. Kind of run the uh, cords up around in the back of the TV. Across the way is the Super Slide Thomas Paine Collection Furniture. The theater seats are very comfortable, and again, they are straight across in the TV. This is the preferred style of uh, seating or entertainment setup in any RV because you don't have to crane your neck one way or the other and kind of get a sore neck. So it is cool that it's straight across. Uh, kind of has what, what the, like the ripcord style of, uh, uh, of use for the, the foot rest right here. So you grab the handle, you pull it up just like that. The feet come up and then this will uh, lean back. So that way you can actually recline. If you want to take a nap, it's a good spot for it. Some cup, uh, cup holders right there. You will also see in the armrest, you have a spot for a couple of remotes. Big windows. So in lieu of storage, they took out the cabinets. A lot of manufacturers will put cabinets up here. Instead, they went with the big oversized windows. This is something that's very common in the higher end motorhomes, but something you don't see quite as often in uh, the towable side. But I personally like it. I like having a lot of light during the day. It helps make it feel open and airy and spacious. And there's plenty of other storage in this floor plan where I don't think you need the storage up top. LED lights here. The dinette itself, it can easily sit for. It does drop down into a small sleeping space. Probably not great for adults, but it will do the trick for children. And you have drawers underneath for easy access storage. You'll see again, those are quite large. 
The bathroom in the 2502 has a decent setup. You'll see the foot flush lever toilet right here against this wall. It is a porcelain bowl, so it's easy to clean. I have great space for my legs. For shoulders, I rub a little bit on the right, but honestly, I still have great space. Over to this side is the two-piece shower. Take a step in here to show you the size. I am six foot. You can see I can stand right here. I don't have to hunch down. And you have the big skylight. So even if you are 6'2", you can still stand underneath there without having to bend over. You have a hand wand, a couple of shelves, and you have a seat. So if you need to sit down, you can do so. More importantly though, in my opinion, is the fact that you can put your leg up here and need to shave your legs. That uh, makes it a little bit easier to do so. Right here is your mirrored medicine cabinet, little cubby hole underneath that, sink top right over there. You'll also notice the electrical outlet and additional storage underneath. The bedroom of the 2502 features a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed with the leather headboard. Nightstands on both sides with electrical outlets and dual USB ports as well as additional storage both underneath and you have storage up top. You'll see connecting the two, you have three more doors there. And on the ceiling, not only do you have a vent, but this one is also wired for a second AC. So if you want a second one, that is where it would be installed. Slide out wardrobe right over here. You'll notice you have the hanging rod going across for those two doors. The third one has shelves. So it gives you a great place for folded clothes or if you need spot for shoes, it's a great spot for it drawers along the bottom there additional storage right behind me and if you need a spot to put a tv you see the tv connections right up here lastly you do have a really nice door in this one kind of has like a frosted panel on there now that we've seen the inside let's take a look at some of the outside features of the 2019 atlas 2502 ref Right up front, you'll see this one has the Rotoflex head on here. This will help prevent some of the bucking and chucking as you are starting and stopping the tow vehicle. Underneath, you have the front storage compartment. You'll notice how it is nice and clean. You don't have a bunch of wires and stuff hanging down, so that way you have clean storage area. Battery box over here to the side that is already pre-vented for you. And coming over around to the side, solar prep so if you want solar simply buy the portable panels plug it in right there it's already pre-wired and it'll start trickle charging your battery two 30 pound propane tanks one on this side another on the other side large power awning on here touch a button to roll that out same thing to have it go back in and it has an led light strip underneath you'll also see two outside speakers there those are connected to that multimedia center but the cool thing about that is it is Bluetooth capable. So if you're sitting out here, you can use your phone and somewhat control the music. Another thing you'll notice is that all this space right here underneath the awning, you don't have any vent. So this is good usable camp space, as long as you don't have to constantly get into your storage area. Uh, the cool thing about the storage area, it is slam latch. It's also magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. If you take a look inside, you see the other side open currently. You don't have any plumbing or anything running all the way through, so this is all good open space. You will also see the in-command brain box right here. This has the in-command light system, which with in, uh, in conjunction with a smart device and an app, you can control a lot of these system functions. You will notice this one has the More Ride Step Above Step System. Very, very solid step system here. You'll see that you have the adjustable legs, aluminum treads with grip tape, and in conjunction with the foldable grab handle right here, that grip tape helps give you better control when entering or exiting the RV. The aluminum treads, of course, won't rust, so they will stay looking nice for years to come. Coming back a little bit further, you have outside TV hookup, both the cable outlet as well as electrical outlet. Aluminum alloy wheels there with easy lube axles. And in the very back is the outside entertainment area slash kitchen. Now, I personally really like this uh, because a lot of times you have to have a bunk model or rear bath model to get this. Some of these rear entertainment floor plans like this one have it, and I really appreciate it. Especially this one because they give you the bigger refrigerator. I think this is pretty great. Uh, plenty of room in there for more beverages, condiments, whatever else you need. You have a drawer here. You also have the pull-out. Let me undo the lock here. Pull-out two-burner cooktop. So if you need to do some cooking out here, you have the capability to do that. Electrical outlet and then additional storage right there up top. I'll open that up for you. 
So the cool thing about this, as you can see, is that you have enough room, not just for like plates and cups, but if you want like an outside bar, which I know, you know, the, when I go camping, I see that a lot of people do that. You certainly have the space in which you can put some of those bottles and everything else you need there. Rear mounted ladder, so you can climb up onto the uh, fully walkable roof. You will also notice that you have backup camera prep. Moving down a little bit further, 50 amp detachable power cord uh, plugs right into here. The reason it is 50 amp is because we have that second AC prep. Fresh water inlet is on the back. Your city water connection is on the off door side. We'll see that in just a moment. But before we do, I do want to show you this one comes with a factory installed receiver. Now, that's not for towing another trailer or anything, you know, a boat or anything behind it. It has a 300 pound weight capacity. The idea is if you have like a, an extra cargo trailer you want to put on there, or a uh, cargo attachment rather, so we can put like coolers and stuff, or if you have a bike rack, that is where it would hook up at. So we take a look on the off door side, we have a couple last connections. You'll see you do have a light in here, also your cable inlet, a spray port, water heater bypass valve. That is an awesome thing to have when it comes to winterization, certainly makes the process easier. You'll see your city water inlet is located here, as is your black tank flush. All right, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Atlas 2502 REF. If you're interested in this short, wonderful fifth wheel and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.